We will solve a pooling game in Java in solo learn. You are creating a pooling game. The given code declares a pooling game with its constructor and add player method. Each player of the game has name and points. Name and points for each player. And are stored in the player's hash map. The code in main text players data as input and add them to the game. You need to add get winner method to the class to be put it here, which calculates and outputs the name of the player with the maximum points. As example, this is the inputs and the output will be Amy. So we have the class pooling and it has a method add player and the hash map for this player in these two variables a string and the integer for storing the data of the player then we have the main class the public class program we have a main method uh, and it has a variable pooling which will uh, get a uh, game variable of type pooling which will uh, take uh, from the pooling uh, method this method okay and we have uh, another uh, variable scc which will take the uh, 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 the input from the uh, user and we have a for loop i uh, the counter counter and it will take three item uh, three counts then we have scc for next line and we have the values variable of a string it's array and we have the name for the value of uh, zero and we have the points of the value of one and uh, we game add player we will add the name and points to the uh, using the add player in the database which will be in the hash map okay and then we will uh, call a function or a method it's called get winner using the game which with with, with the variables of a, a player and the points okay now we will create this method we'll create it here follow me please public it's type of public void get winner get winner i will take i will make it copy and paste and here we will create the method so we will instead of semicolon we will open the curly brackets of this method this method will contain different variables like string and this string has a variable winner which will be calculated in this function and the start with initializing uh, and this and we have a string of array I like to make copy and paste it's a good and this array type data type I have array of name name one as example name one which would equal new string new string and inside here players dot size players dot size yeah, it's a function or a method okay, we close with zip code then name one name one equals players dot 
كي ست لايرز دوت كي ست سامسود تو اري دوت تو اري of name one and then semicolon we have another variable of type integer it's a maxi and then we start a full loop for loop string string uh, x a variable of type string and uh, we say we name one and then curly brackets for the items inside this for loop we will ask a question or a condition be using if if string if players if players dot get x dot get x greater than maxi the variable which we created what will happen in the curly brackets winner winner equals x and maxi equals players dot get x then we have two curlies finished here then we have system out mm -hmm. system dot out dot print line winner and then we close with this so here we finished I think now we will write or uh, run I think it will work Yes, but there is just uh, some problem here with the variable maximum, maxi. So here get x greater than maxi. One error. Ah, oh. a variable maximum should be initializes. Variable maximum might not have been initialized. So, so it should be initialized first. So, to initialize it, we give it zero. Okay, and then run. Oh, very nice, very good. Now it's running, running, and good. And the case two, this is the case two. If I have A equals the 49, B 110, it's B the winner, okay?
Thanks for watching this video.